What's up, what's up? You're listening to Secret House Against the World, I guess. Uh, against reviews. Against, against reviews. Against Japanese-based hip-hop review show podcast i don't know what you want to call it i think we're a show we don't we're release a, a podcast. yeah we're, we're not on any podcast got a visual streaming, right going yeah, on yeah, yeah. yeah i feel like when i talk about this i tell people that it's a podcast uh i'm jet in the center we've got my man mega and guy on the left yeah names at the bottom dj l spade um who is still getting dragged in the comments? Like y'all don't see it. Like <laughs> go back to the Haram review, and you, you got dragged in the comments last oh, week. No and I was like, "Word, man!" I was like, "All right." I had to tell him. I was like, "You know, he's actually changed his mind since the time of the review." Blah blah blah. blah. But yeah, yeah, man. Welcome, <laughs> welcome back. And today we are talking about the new album from Just Go Fund Me Corvette. I, I th- is it Just? It might be Jus. Jus. He, he puts J-U-S. dots in there. So yeah, yeah Jus. J-U-S. It's actually not that new. It came out towards the end of last year oh um, yeah what was it? like december, december. 2021 huh. yeah but but you know we we, we reviewed um z loopers and um when i went back to listen to this album i was like oh it's really good and then i checked it out and and i realized that like a lot of times it, i like to be you know early with the reviews you know what yeah. i mean and if if other places like fantano or dead end hip-hop have already reviewed it maybe i might not want to review an album if it isn't like really dope or interesting but nobody reviewed this and i was thinking as we go forward, there might be albums that we missed from a couple months back. And if nobody's reviewed what? them, why don't we hit them? Because we appreciate the art. You know what I mean? For sure. For so sure. that's why I wanted to go back to this because um, as as you all, as, as our old listeners know, I like to discuss what, whether or not we know the artist before we get into the album reviews. And I'll start by saying that I heard this just uh, JUS album last year, um, the God Goku Jay Z album, yeah. and it didn't, and I didn't love it. It didn't stick for me. In fact, my favorite verse on that was um, by by the other cat, um, Fat Ray. Is that his what? name? Am I, am I am I am I tripping, or did you mention that in your albums of the year list I, I, when we did that? No, it's that's not on my I top got, ten. Maybe you mentioned it in your honorable mentions sure. or something. Because I that's how I found out about JUS. Okay. Was you mentioning God Goku Jay Z is one of your favorite albums of last year. I remember year. I remember Ooh. I sent you guys a screenshot of like twenty albums that I had. Maybe that was albums it? that I would listen to. But but yeah, no, I mean I didn't I didn't love the album. It wasn't okay. one of those albums where I was like, Oh, this is really good. But there was some moments on it that I really enjoyed. The the um the God Goku J I mean the title's ill first. It's such a good yeah, title. It's a good yeah. title. <laughs> and and they you know they they have the track where rapping like and there's like dragon ball lines and you know i like dragon ball enough there's dragon balls shit around shit here you know what i mean right behind us and i'm not some crazy otaku about it but i was like that's funny you know don't don't even try to refer to me see we live in spade, tokyo spade always doing the eye things if you watch our videos spade was like ugh, ugh, look at this guy oh that's a lie yeah i don't like it that's always you on the side we'll, guy on we'll the left settle this on yeah, dragon yeah. Ball Fighters right Z right later. right but but yeah, you know, I, I didn't love it and I heard this album and I was like, interesting. Let's let's see how it how it feels. So you found out about J U S from that. How yep. about you? This is my first time actually being introduced to this guy. Uh this album, GoFundMe Corvette. I'm like, okay, cool. But yeah, prior to that, I've heard of the guy because of you guys, but nah, this is the first time listening. Okay. I like um, Bruiser Brigade, so I, I I I knew his name, but I wasn't gonna like I, I hadn't listened to anything. I'd, I'd listened to, you know, I, I like Danny Brown. I like Z Loopers. I like Bruiser Wolf as well. So yeah. I was like, yeah, why not? That Bruiser Wolf album, the first time I heard it, I wasn't feeling it. And it grew on me a lot too, actually. The dope game's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. All right. So let's get into it. I want I want Spade to start on this one. If I feel like this. It, yeah, get started on it. How you feel? Oh, yo. Um, the mix is nice on this album. I was actually surprised. I was thinking when you introduced me to this album that the mix wasn't gonna be nice, but the mix was great. Um, some yeah, of the a, choices were. It's a, go ahead. It's a dusty album, but it sounds yes. very. See, clear. it's mm. intentional in the choices to peak and distort. Yes. But it was done well. This is kind of how I wish the Fly Anakin album would mm. sound. Mm. Like if the Fly Anakin album would have sounded like this, it would have been a classic. I kid you not. But the mixes on here were very, very good. Um, I sent you guys a message that I thought. <laughs> J-U-S is a better AJ Sway and I truly believe that their styles kind of are comparable but the imagery that J-U-S use is way better than AJ Sway like, even when he was doing like some of the um, the fan duel one mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like it's funny you're talking about making bets and gambling so the, the topic is like fresh 
I don't hear anybody rapping about that, but the way he did it was just great. Now, yeah. bars wise, the front end of the album was kind of boring to me. When I listened to the front end, I was like, uh, it wasn't no drums really on the front end, but the back end, the bar stepped up and it started to hit. Like some of the beats were slapping and some of the features were great. Now, his rapping, yeah, but the features, like um, Fat Ray gets off. I'm like, man, yeah, when he was talking Fat about Ray's chicken, hard. And that one song he made he mentioned Which chicken like four on? times. That jump was so damn hard, man. Uh, so man. damn hard. Uh you talking about Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa yeah. yeah, Kwanzaa. He mentioned yeah. chicken four times. And then he came back on the other feature and mentioned chicken again. I'm like, Fat Ray is about this chicken life. So I Fat messed Ray with is that. Hard. Um That song, I mean, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I try a tribe called Bruiser. Man, not bad. You know, play on the Tribe Called Quest and then similar style of the beats. It was awesome. That's electric relaxation, electric right? Relaxation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they also used Daylight Soul on there as well. Oh, the, fang- uh, uh, yeah, the, the Fandle fang- shit is um, Stakes is high. high. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Potholes. And it's 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 so subtle in there. Yeah. It is, right? Yeah. It's a chord progression, but it's yeah. a different, it's like a synthesizer or something. Mm. I love that junt. Uh, Bruiser Wolf. Uh, breaking down Pippin, how it works. It worked uh, for me. He sound like a. I gotta a better, delete the old tweets now that I'm famous. <laughs> or whatever right. He got yeah, off, yeah. dog. He yeah, sound yeah, like yeah. a better sugar free to me. So I love that. Song, He's a more man. lyrical and kind of like, like mentally vibrant sugar He's, free. I mean, it's like you know what I mean. He's he got is, a vo- the vocal intonation bro, is kind of similar. The Bruiser Brigade counterpart to Sugar Free. Like, yeah. it, it fits. You know, you look at those Bruiser Brigade yeah. cats. They're all like. A little, a little weird. They're right. a little quirky, but at the same time, they're dope with it. Yeah, and his, Bruiser his, Wolf is 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 perfect for that. He's also like, even though he sounds a lot like Sugar Free, the his style, his spoken style, is very different than Sugar Free, and the way that he sets up lines is so different than Sugar yeah. Free. He's just like when I first heard it, I was like, ugh. Discount sugar free, great value sugar free. I think that's and what then, you guys said yeah. when we mentioned it. And then, and in then the you know, I actually went out and listened to it, and I was like, yo, yo, I, I, I dismissed this a little bit too quickly. And I mean, because I, I didn't really listen to it. I just blah blah blah, blah put it on. But yeah. you know what I mean, like. Yeah, I, I agree with you. The the album is clean. The production's clean. I personally think the lyrics on this thing are fucking hilarious, dope, and stacked all throughout it. He was a variety of different styles. So many funny joints. Even in the beginning, on Price is Right, he says, I'm out cold and living single. There's one hoe per household, and I'm the hoe. Oh. Bro, yeah. like, even just silly <laughs> shit is just like, oh, man, there's so many lines. Um, Shark Mob. Shark that, Mob. I love that beat, that mm-hmm. single piano loop. I don't need a house on the hill. I just need a farm, a, a farm pool, bar, and a copy of the Quran and a firearm. Too much Jesus on the album, though, man. That was well, well. I mean, he he Muslim though, you know. But, but he was talking about Christianity and Jesus a lot. Like, I didn't get it was that. a bunch of references on Shark Mob. He did. It was like a Jesus song. Oh, okay. You said a Jesus song. Yeah, it's like it's a lot of Jesus on oh, this album. He does man. say. I mean, Blessing he just need a farm pool, bar. I'm like, eh. oh. Waves, he's talking about he met a he got it from a surfer dude he met in a cave. For some reason, that just reminds me. Shout out to my Yakubians, my cave dwelling people. You know I mean? It's like, yeah, a surfer dude in a cave. I don't know, but man, it's Brown funny. got off on that song and the beat actually went hard on Waves. I love how the beat drops out and you yeah. just hear that check and it's like straight yeah, into Danny the Brown verse. killed it. Great feature. Shout out to Danny so, Brown. So much of it is good. A tribe called Bruiser that that's got you know the bruiser wolf um lines on that is so wild over that there's like a little bit of a reverb over his voice mm-hmm. it, it, it's really fun to to rap along to and um what does he say you can't pay for her weave don't complain when she leave yo, <laughs> yo dick game weak yo dick game weak <laughs> it's like yo 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 this album is so fun to me and that's and then when i heard it i was like all right even though it's old i want to i want to put you guys and see how you guys feel about it because it, it it was those things. I know you you especially Spade. He's a producer, engineer, and and you are very very concerned about how these albums are arranged and how they how they sound sonically outside of just the the content. And I thought this was clean. I thought the production choices. There's samples. There's drums. There's tracks without drums. The production is varied and vibrant, and and there's just so many different looks on this album. Um, overall, it's just like it's so dense. I could go on and on about almost every single track on this album, citing a line or or talking about like some Burt Bacharach type of beat. You yes, know what I mean? Yes, like yes, yeah. The, yeah. The, the um, they did a lot of um samples which I thought was super creative. On one track, they used um, Bossa Nova or some MP in there, and I was like, "Yo, that is actually great!" Like somebody rapping over Bossa Nova saved me. And once again, I would say, 
J-U-S bars to me, I wasn't impressed. But on the back end of the album, man, the bars really stepped up. Especially like on Kwanzaa, he stepped up his bars on that one. I was like, oh, okay. I did enjoy right, cool. just how melodic the album was, like in terms of the beats and everything. It manages to be, you know, a lot of dusty hip hop. Even if I think it's dope, they generally move away from having too much going on melodically. Mm. Like in terms of chord sequences and stuff like that. You'll have like a sample or just like a loop or something. Um, here, they it, it's kind of jazzy yeah. in its approach. And that, I thought that was pretty dope. Yeah, you know, like I don't know how old. Oh, and also the chicken track is not the one I said earlier. It's chicken dinner with chicken, Fat Ray. Oh, winner, okay. winner, chicken, chicken of dinner. course, obviously. Yeah, uh, I, I was crazy about that hook. But winner, also, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's like that's something that like old British guys say a lot. Mm. So oh, white guys too. Oh, white yeah. guy. I mean, that maybe oh, that's, that's, a, that's just that's my, a, like, oh, like an easy peasy lemon squeezy. They miss squeezy. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rice it. and cheesy. That kind of annoyed me a little, but. Yeah, like, like I was saying, I'm not exactly sure how old how old JUS is, but a lot of the like the you, you think about the usage of the tribe samples and, and and the things that he's going back to and how he's referring to them. They got the JG Wentworth. You might not. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you know JG oh, Wentworth, but it's genius. like classic yeah, commercial for us. Uh, I have a wait. I had a structured settlement, but I need cash now. Call JG Wentworth. One seven seven five cash now yeah, or some bro. shit like that, bro. That's it's like a it's a law firm. It's the shit that we like would see on television mm -hmm. between Prices Right when we were staying home from school. But, but I, it, the song makes sense though because they're talking yeah. about coming up and getting money. Yeah. And JG Wentworth is the place you call yeah. when you get in an accident, and right. they're just basically that that lawyer firm. Yeah, like, they have you been any injured case? in a yes. thing of work? Exactly. Right, yeah. so, and the whole song was talking about hustle, so it worked. And but some of these lines, I must say, took me aback. Like honestly, the first bar made me rewind three damn times, bro. I was like, "What is he saying?" He said, "If my bitch drive a boat in the club, that means she's homeless." I was like, "What the fuck does that mean?" My bitch drive a boat in the club, that means she's homeless. I was like, "I stopped." I don't know. I rewinded again. I was like, if my bitch drives a boat in the club, that means she's homeless. <laughs> I literally stood up for thirty minutes, like the fuck you mean he's, he's bro philosophically brilliant dog <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, like huh there, there's like there's like you know the track kwanzaa they hit you with all the principles of kwanzaa right yeah. but they'd also don't beat you over the head with it like it's some like woke afrocentric shit Facts. it's just kind of like this you know but but what they're talking about is like this congruency between like the, their 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 racial identity and the the things that they experience that they don't necessarily realize that they experience the whole Agreed. point of the track is like you know, he's talking about fasting from the swine and, and, and you know, chicken fricassee and how he, he didn't know it until he knew it. Somebody pointed out that and he knew it or something. You know what I mean? It's like there's a lot of there's a lot of like smart, dumb cat lines yeah, here. Yeah, there's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a philosophical brilliance to him. Like even even the track. um, What is it called? Um Casamigos, Casa right? Go hard. He talks about he was watching Eddie Murphy Raw and thinking it was That's like the vo thing, most vulgar thing shit ever. He ever saw, yeah, yeah, most vulgar shit ever. And it's it's interesting the way that he kind of stacks his shit up. Like, how does this fool know about like Dave uh, Dale Earnhardt and shit? That like, was a good you know one, I mean? mate, bro. You can't be talking about killing damn Dale Earnhardt in the South. They're gonna get you, bro. Like, that man's like damn near. <laughs> well, Elvis. no, he said he dreamed that he was racing Earnhardt and, and he crashed. Him. No, he bumped him. That's how Dale Earnhardt he died. died. Yeah. yeah, by being bumped. So I'm but like, he you said just he killed didn't. Him. He said he, be, you know, as a penance, he didn't drink Budweiser for a month. He felt bad about it. Yeah, which was dope. on the note <laughs> of racing. Max Verstappen is just out of this race in the Formula One. You gonna good. make me have fuck to Max edit? <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck Max we Verstappen. We spoiled the Sorry, UFC. Keep it going. No, 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 keep it going. It's fine. You ain't censored yeah, that, that shit. Cat. Fuck Max Verstappen. Yeah, yeah, Yakuza yeah, goes that hard. Cat. Like a lot of these songs, the imagery just works. And once again, not to go back to AJ Sway because he did leave us a good comment. Thank you for watching, bro. But I just wish. AJ Sway would have came like this. It would have been a lot better. This guy is really a better AJ Sway. I'll keep on saying that. The, the, the ratings, like, the, the bars aren't impressive on this song. They're not to me. But overall, it works. The back end of the album is a lot better than the front end. I so, appreciate the halfway is probably my favorite song on this album. You think I, so? I, that would yeah. be up there for me as yeah. well. It was appreciate the halfway and fan jewel for me. Uh, were my, my two favorites. I, I like a lot. Like, Appreciate the halfway. Waves he has well. this. He has this lyric run that is just dope and brilliant to me. He said, "I seen the apple. I seen the apple in my brother's eye. It was a sty. He looking like. Uh, he seen the look of defeat, but he's still alive. Foolish pride ate from the tree of knowledge. Thought he was wise. His brain is a sponge. A snake is his guide. A snake is his god. A snake to a raw. 
bro, and appears as a thunderbolt that'll light up the sky. Like, he he's so ill off that. I, saw, I, I, I don't do it any justice, but the way he flips it in in kind of like this hominin form, mm -hmm. a snake was his guide, a snake was his god, a snake to a Ra, like the sun god. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yo, he. Yeah, he, he goes off, like man. He, he goes said it's, off. it's the smart dumb cat thing because, uh, and it's the same with like Danny Brown and Z Loopers that you know they'll go crazy and they'll they'll talk about you know, on your booty, bitch, deep throat and like whatever. Um, <laughs> Yo, but I'm learning the today. Time, got mad impersonations, <laughs> bro. Yo, you airy Spears. They, they, they'll, they'll do that shit, but also at the same time, you know, there's just too much cleverness in it yeah. for it to just be like some ignorant shit. Like yeah. these guys are having fun with it, and yeah. that's something I think is mad dope about Bruiser Brigade as a whole. I think the dope waves game's stupid. Is my favorite. Track. Which one? Maybe waves or potholes? Okay, potholes is hard. Like that's between those two. But the album, like I said, solid album. If I had to rate this album, which I am, because this the show is about, I'm gonna actually give this <gasps> trash. No, definitely not trash, but no. a high album. High album. A high. Okay. You know what? See, I, a part of me wants to give the greatest album ever. You know what? Fuck that. I'm gonna change it right now. Greatest Ooh. album ever, and this is okay. why. Because I was leaning into my bias of music, but when I take my bias out of it, it's the greatest album ever. It's like, we're, it's not, a, we're not trying to be objective here. Yeah, this yeah, is a yeah, conversation. Yeah. It's like, like six point yeah. five seven because um the imagery works, the bars step up in the back end, great features. The whole album, even the production, like some of the production choices I don't like, but they sound so damn intentional. It was mixed well, and I didn't lose anything listening to it like I did Fly Anakin. So, yeah, yeah, greatest album ever. Just low, maybe 6.5. I liked it a lot. I, I, It's definitely a greatest album ever yeah. on our three-point rating scale of greatest album ever, album trash. Um, I like the production on it a lot. I think it's really inventive and fun. I think Just is dope. I think every feature came correct on here. Uh, there's some cultural ephemera that I just didn't understand. I assume because you know I'm just not American. Yeah. Um, Legend of the Hidden Temple. They, and they, yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot know, of like American they take pop care of me. They're like name dropping all these people I've never heard of. You know what Sunny Delight is? I do know what Sunny okay. D is. Yes. Sunny he said D. I like my girls like Sunny, Sunny Yellow D. like Sunny Delight. That's a Simpson fam. <laughs> that is not. That is not. Yeah. A, ain't no Asian. Ain't no light uh, skin, is, high yellow. This is definitely rap for dudes who like Asian chicks. But yeah. I, uh, colorism in there too. Yeah, I'm rocking, I, I, I'm rocking with it. Shout out to my uh, wife. No, Asian album's, chick. album's fucking dope. I'm, I'm yeah. yeah, big fan. Bruiser Brigade, Meg. keep winning. I'm, I'm, um, I, I actually really, really enjoyed this album and and was delighted, mm. just like you were delighted on the last. I was delighted mm. to listen to it. I kept on just finding more and more things, and um, even, even, even like things that made me think, like that, that. Eddie Murphy line is like okay, you know, but Eddie Murphy's also not any worse than the 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 worst people of his time. He was like he was just fine, but you know, I thought about it for a long time. I thought I think about some of the the bar runs a lot. I love how he uses these like very Western American, Black American colloquialisms that resonate with me um, almost on every single track. I think I think that it's really I think it's really interesting. And um, I give this album a greatest album ever. I give it a high seven, maybe maybe a straight eight. This is one of my favorite projects. I will say of the year because it came out in December. So I'm just going to count. Yeah. I'm going to put an L, L spade and, and, and count Grammys, December towards the Grammys thing. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I think this is one of my favorite albums of the year. Um, I haven't thought much about that, but it's definitely in my top five. I really really like this album. I respect that. And if anybody in the comments could tell me what. If my bitch drive a boat in the club, that means she's homeless means, please let me know. I'm dying to know what that means. Yeah. If she's wet, then I'm kicking her out. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. If my bitch drives a boat in the club, that means she's homeless. He said, I mean, shout out to us on Yakuza, man. That's, uh, you know, I mean, that's. that's oh, Yakuza went hard. Yeah, he yeah. said, raw sex is a small flex when you God body. And I'm living like that. I was man. like, yeah, I, that, that was You know, Mega's mega going line, like that. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I, he said, I, he said I'm more bar. scammy than authentic because when you in the mob, it's a conflict of interest. interest yeah. I like that. Yo, shout out to the Goon Maneuvers. Yo, if you want to contact us on this page, the email associated with the uh, I say Goon Maneuvers <laughs> at Gmail. <laughs> Yeah, figure out how to spell maneuvers. We might, you know what I mean? Maneuvers. It's, it's we difficult. Don't if, we don't know if Mega it's got it right. It's difficult, yeah, yeah. But yeah, go maneuvers. That's what we're about, man. Secret House Against the World. Secret J-U-S. Like, subscribe. Go find me, Corvette. Please like, subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Shout out. Do hey. on the left.
and I've been playing Rafi Beats, um, who's produced some of the, the tracks on this. Um, his new beat tape just dropped. It is called, let me not fuck it up, You Can Have a Piece of My Soul for the Lows. And um, yeah, there's been the beats on it the whole time. Bruiser Brigade. Bruiser Brigade. Fight the alt-right. Or are you playing? Yeah. <laughs> 